What's up everyone? My name is John Castillo and today I'm going to be comparing a cinema to a kit lens. So the cinema lens I'm looking at is the Sigma Cine 18-35 T2 versus the Panasonic Lumix 12-60 f2.8. Kayla and I spent our day at the public library. We wanted a spot that was aesthetically pleasing to look at while not being minus 10 degrees because it's minus 10 degrees right now in Montreal where we live. Minus 10 Celsius. It's cold. So we went to the public library and we spent our time comparing the lenses. As you might have seen in my previous video, we are using the Panasonic Lumix GH5. This is the GH5S, but more on that later. We don't own the cinema lens. We rented it for a music video that we shot on Friday. And as the rental agreement goes, we can actually keep it for the entire weekend while still paying for one day. So we decided to play around with it because this is our first time using a cinema lens and it was awesome. We tried to get a variety of shots, some on a tripod, some on a gimbal, some that were a little bit more close up, some that showed more of the background. And I mean, time and time again, you just look at the footage and really what gives away the cinema lens is the depth of field. The bokeh just looks so beautiful compared to the kit lens. It's somewhat of an unfair comparison because of the Metabone Speed Booster, which actually allows more light into the sensor. That, and on top of that, the, the lens also allows more light to come in. So there's just more bokeh naturally due to every part of the equation allows more light in. Something else about this cinema lens, and I really don't know how to explain this. If you know what's going on, please leave me a comment. I would love to learn more. The way that the light hits everything sort of has this quality to it. There's this light roll off, it seems, that everything looks softer. The image is really sharp, but the light looks softer. It's almost as if the cinema lens adds more dynamic range. I'm losing my vocabulary in trying to explain this, but there's just something about it that looks very visually pleasing. This is particularly noticeable in this gimbal shot where I'm following Kayla. And if you look right around here, the glare, the way that the light hits the glass is just stunning. I slobbering all over this lens. So now I'm gonna show Kayla some footage and I'm gonna show you guys some footage as well. I'm not gonna say which one is which so that you can have sort of an unbiased opinion while looking at the footage. And let's start with this one. This is sort of a wider shot, the one where you sit on the stairs and I feel like the bokeh is less important. So maybe I might be able to confuse you with this one clip. I think this is the kit lens. Okay. Not my final answer, but preliminary, I think it's the kit lens. Can I cheat a little bit? Sure. I think this one is the cinema lens. Mm-hmm. Why? Because it's lighter. It's you're, cheating. You're right. That's not cheating. That's totally a way to see it. But it is lighter. It does have that softer, glowier look. Yeah, this one is, it's, it's harsher. Darker. It is harsher, yeah. The, the stairs look harsher. The lines on the stairs, they look more intense. The shadows are more intense. There is there is a l slightly less bokeh. Not significant, but there is less bokeh. But it just doesn't look as... cinematic. I'll put a few more back-to-back -back clips so you can watch and compare both lenses. Let me know if you were able to figure it out.
So that's all I had in store for this video. If you felt like you got something out of it, I would very much appreciate a like or a subscribe. Once again, my name is John Castillo and thank you very much for watching. Peace. We were using the woo. <laughs> I'm a little scared that we're uh, we're gonna end up buying one, which we can't afford because I'm looking up the prices right now. Oh, the cart button is so close to my finger. I had a list of shots that I wanted to go through, some close-ups, hand stuff, close. -up. <laughs>